Hi guys, so I'm going to show you a haul that I have done over the past four months I would have to say or around there. It's going to be a try on haul so I'm going to show you the item and have the picture on at the same time. The first thing I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to show you different stores that I've gone to instead of organizing it in a certain category. So it's going to be by store. So the first store I'm going to show you or tell you about is Aritzia. This sweater is one of my favorite sweaters, that's why I keep touching it, is because I really like this sweater and it was the first item that I was going to talk about. It says Sunday Rendezvous and I really like that. It's also soft and it's a crop top so it's one of my favorite and it was $30 which was half off I believe but to me that's a good deal just because I really like this sweater and I thought it was worth it because I felt like I was going to wear it a lot. The second item is... I think the brand is called Community. Yeah, and I never wore this brand before, but it's actually really soft and this was $24. I thought it was a really good quality sweater for the price that it was or it is. I think originally it was $90. So here's the sweater and I realized I have two or three white sweaters so I should stop getting like cream or white sweater. So yeah, this is from Community. It's just a regular sweater and I think the originally, oh, originally it's 60 and I got it for 24 which is kind of like half off again. The next door is going to be Pepper Lime and some of the stuff I paid for but some of them I used as a gift card because I recently got a gift card for this store so yeah the first thing I'm going to show you is this skirt right here and I really like this skirt because it's tweeted or the fabric is really heavy so it's good for the winter and I think it can look um, good when you're going to go out or something or just trying to dress up up dress up a little so i really like this it's a lot more poofier than usual but i got a really good deal on it i think i got it for either 22 or less or maybe even 17. so yeah the only thing with the joa brand so when i all the stuff that i'm going to show you i bought on piper line you can buy on other website like daily daily look um but I got it on Piper Line. And the thing I wanted to say is that it runs pretty small. So I'm going to tell you that I am 5 feet and I weigh around 97 to 98. And I usually wear extra small. But in this brand, extra small is really tight on me. Which I think is kind of crazy. Just because the sizing is really small. I guess it's good for people who are smaller than me because I do know people that are smaller than me so I guess that would be good for them so just bear in mind that these sizes run a lot smaller so these are the skirt um, the second skirt that I bought is like a midi a midi skirt and I like it but again it is way too small but this one is also too long I kind of like it because I feel like you can dress this up or dress down wearing sneakers or you can wear heels the only thing about this is it's a little too long for me it's like four inches too long so my knee is like right here and then it passed my knee that much technically you can wear like that I'm deciding if I want to hem it up or not because I just got a sewing machine so yeah and this waistband right here is pretty darn small like the other jewel dress that i had in the mini skirt if it's kind of fine but this with this button right here i'm gonna actually make it looser and have another button right here just because it is really tight like really really tight so i feel like their size run really small so yeah so i got that and then the last thing i got was this and i remember for a while i had my eye on this sweater but i keep not getting it and I remember it was because of these buckles on the sleeve which I was not a fan of. I felt like it looks really old and I mean I don't mind when things look classic or older but this makes it really outdated in my style and in my opinion and I just really didn't like it but when I rolled up my sleeve which I roll up my sleeve let's say 80% of the time I always roll up my sleeve. I thought it looked kind of nice. It looks like a little detail, but overall if it was long I would not like that there. So this is a sweater like this. Um, it's very masculine in my opinion, but I kind of like it and I thought I could wear it to work. So yep, I got that. Okay, the next door, I'll save Forever 21 just because I don't have a lot of stuff from there. Um, the first one is this sweater. It's another sweater with words on it. It says, come see, come saw, which I think is so-so in Spanish. I think, unless it's French and it means so-so. Uh, probably gotta look that up. 
So, yep, I really like it. It's another crop top sweater. And I like how it's already folded on the sleeve right here. And it's longer than usual too. So the sleeve is not like the typical sleeve you have. It's a little bit longer. And I've been liking that. So, yeah, there goes that. And then the next thing is these pants. These were only like... $13. The other thing was $17, which is actually a lot for what I would normally purchase at Forever 21, but I really like the sweater, and it was really soft, so then I just bought it. And it kind of looked like there's a trend going on here. I've been buying a lot of black and gray stuff. So this one is just a pants. It has a pocket here, but the pocket is kind of in an odd position that I would probably wouldn't put my hands in there because it's like right in front and it's kind of weird so even if you put something in there that's small you can see the outline of it so I think it looks just like a kind of like a style or a fashion thing to leave it there but I wouldn't put anything inside of it because it's just right in front and I really like this because there's like the bottom part right here and it's not wide so I really like that for being you know short and stuff okay so the next door would be I'm gonna say Madewell so I got this a while back and is these jeans right here with patches so this is the back and the front have these patches right here random patches patches right here this is the year that Madewell was invented I think or started up and there's another patch down here but I fold up because I'm kind of short and this was probably over a hundred dollars so Madewell jeans are quite pricey but I never buy it for the full full price just because i know they always go on sale and there will be jeans that i would like that's on sale so i got it for around either 30 or 35 which is actually pretty good because some lower end brand would have like forever 21 i could i would bet you i would find a pair of forever 21 that would be like 30 dollars and the quality is not really up to par so i really like this and it's also um a dupe of another higher end brand jean and i'll post a picture of it if i can find it but i really like this one um it's just really kind of um, military looking but it just adds a little something to you your daily jeans so I really like that and the fabric is amazing so I really like the fabric of it too because it's really stretchy and it's really good quality so I really like that about me well um, the second thing I got is another pair of jeans I've been wanting these jeans for so long not the specific one but the fact that it's a coated denim and it's black um, so I got this. So there's like a waxy coat on it and it just look like leather but not really. And I like this detailing down here. It's like motorcycle knee pad. So but my knee's like right here and and my feet or this falls down to my ankle. And there's like a zipper thing right there. I'm holding it kind of weird. So that's what I got for this place. Um, this was over a hundred something also and I got it for 35 which is a really good deal because I've been waiting for it to go on sale and it finally went lower and then I think there was like a 30% off on it or something like that. So in the end it was like $35 which is actually really good for these pants because they're so comfortable and the fact that I can wear it to work also um, but have a little bit of style of my own so I really like that. So I really love these pants. Um... And then the last thing I just got was um, this blouse. I've been looking for sweaters and their sweaters are really thick and chunky but it's just kind of expensive right now because it's like over $80. So I got this blouse and I thought I can wear it like underneath a blazer or something. So that's what this look like and it's like, huh, there's a lot of detail this to here. So this is the sleeve part. And on camera is showing up as like brown, but it's actually burgundy. So I think I got this for 30 and it was like originally 90, which is kind of crazy. So, yep. So the last thing I got from Madewell are these rings right here. It's actually a set of four, but I got these specifically just because, or I show this specifically because these are the only one that I've been wearing and it's more matte and the other one is shiny. So that's why I didn't show that. And this was like $6. Um, it was originally more, I think it was 20. I can't remember, but that's kind of like the price, whoops, of Forever 21 rings. So that's why I got them and I like them and I've been wearing them on a daily basis and it really matches the Forever 21 necklace that I also recently just purchased. So there's that. And then the last store I'm going to talk about, or not last, second to last, is 
J. Crew. I almost said me well. Um, and I got this long sleeve, quarter sleeve. It's not long sleeve and it's not quarter sleeve. It's like, I don't know what this is called. I should figure that out. So I got this and I really like it because, yes, it does look older. Um, but I thought it would be nice for me to wear um, when I have to do stuff for my job where I have to meet like older people like parents and stuff so yeah so I like this and it was it was more than what I generally would spend um, on a sweater I believe but I really wanted to try it out and see how I can wash it and stuff but I really like it because you don't necessarily have to wear a necklace with this because it's already bedazzled out and it's just a good take on just like something that's not a plain shirt so I really like that and I thought it would look really nice under a blazer because it's not too much if you cover like part of the jewels or whatever so I really like that um, the second thing is like a t-shirt and it just say me to you and I really like t-shirts from J. Crew. so yep I can't remember how much I got this for but it's just definitely not the original price of whatever it is because the t-shirts are crazy um the last thing I got were these black pants and I really actually been liking them because I was wearing it a lot at first I was like that's kind of strange because their zipper is on the back and I'm like what the heck um but when I wore it I was like oh some pants actually have zipper on the pant uh, on the back and it's actually not that bad and the thing is like you'll never forget to zip up your pants I got these for only ten dollars from J Crew, which I thought was really good um and wanted to find out the original price of it but it has to be at least more than 50 because it's from j crew um i really don't know how much it originally cost but i got it for ten dollars which is really good for j crew because i don't think you get jeans from target that fits really well from target if i already said that for ten dollars so i got that and then i got havana's and i should have got it earlier because if i bought it earlier i would have gotten blue but yeah orange I bought, which is okay because i do like color and that for eight dollars havana's usually run for 25 to 26 to 30 dollars so i thought eight dollar was fine from j crew and um the last thing i wanted to show you were the last thing i wanted to show you were these um bobble bar bracelet so they look like that they're both rose gold and last year i broke my bracelet a long time ago and they're rose gold and i've been missing wearing them so i got two new ones from bobble bar for ten dollars for their 12 days of christmas and it looks like that is it i can't really see anything else that I purchased so yeah I hope you guys enjoy that and I will see you guys later bye because I have more of like a favorite band yeah yeah band singer. is fine I think um mm -hmm. I don't know my own I know you band. like all the yeah because I don't think we have favorites but I you have favorites I have your playlist and you like a lot of the bubbly stuff <laughs> <laughs> like Kobe Kale oh yeah like oh I really like Sarah Bareilles also. oh yeah I really like Sarah Bareilles too oh she's really good yeah, yeah. we like her yeah. so she could be a favorite yeah, singer. Yeah, that could be a favorite singer. Um, who takes longer to get ready? I think Kathy does. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't even start putting on makeup or anything until college. Well, you too, but now you put on more. Yeah. Yeah. So that... And your outfits are more intricate, so mine is usually like t-shirt and jeans <laughs> or like a top and jeans. Mm -hmm. But then you have all this other stuff too. Yeah. Like necklaces or other accessories. Yep, because I like necklaces. <laughs> I really like rings too, but my fingers are like so small 